What's up, everybody? Car Guy 302 at New Jersey Motorsports Park. We're going out on Thunderbolt, first track day of the year. So I'm super excited, man. Stay tuned. I'm going to have some exciting track footage for you guys, and we're going to check out some of the amazing cars that showed up for today's event. Uh, there's just two examples right there for you. So stay tuned, guys. It's going to be a Once fun again, day. Man. All right, we just finished getting teched in. There's my buddy, Rob. And uh, his beautiful GT4 right there that you see. Check this thing out. It looks absolutely amazing in this blue color. The car still has a T tag on it. My man is wasting no time getting this out on track. Look at that color in the sun. Really, really, really nice color. Nice WRX. And check this tow rig out. Very nice. We have a San Paolo yellow, I believe it is, M4 looking sharp out here uh i like the wheels on it definitely a nice look and next to it we have isle of man green m3 they're getting that thing ready next up uh convertible m3 with a blower on it and slicks can't go wrong with the 911 turbo looking stealthy and all black with uh red interior and um here we have an m3 this car has a hair blower on it set up for the track let's line up out gt3 rs huracan sto mclaren i mean the list goes on and on we have the gtr tons of gt3s every make and model this aston martin is absolutely beautiful inside now i had the opportunity to instruct the guy on uh, track today and um it's beautiful black suede inside corvette here we are from the back no matter what angle you see these cars at they're they're just beautiful it's the perfect weather. Check these things out. This Aston Martin's really sharp. This uh, Corvette has the apex wheels on it with slicks. Very nice car, looks very aggressive. There's our GT3 again. Love that blue. Take a look at some of these other cars. So many different makes and models here. GT3s look good no matter what color you get. I love this orange. I, it'd be a hard choice between the blue and the orange. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Black M4, we have an M8. And a GT350, all set up for the track. Check that thing out.
right, everybody, I just came in for the first session. The M3 right there handled amazing, no problems at all. The only thing I did to get this car ready for the track is put that sticker right there on the door and set my tire pressure. I try to keep around 34 to 34, 34 to 33 PSI uh, when it's hot out on track. So let, let me show you what the tires look like after one session. And uh, it's always important to keep your tire pressure right. So let's take a look at that. All right, everybody, here you go. You see they're starting to warm up pretty nice. We got nice even wear. You got some rubber chunks. This kind of stuff will, you know, once you go back out on track, it'll clean up. But that's the front tire. Let's take a look at the back. Again, we got a nice wear pattern. So, again, we're going to make sure that we stay on top of our tire pressure so our tires wear nice and evenly. So let's see what uh, session number two is going to have in store for us. All right, everybody, we're going back out for another session. Uh, just got done eating lunch, so stomach's full, gas tank's half full. We're going to go out and see what we can do this time. All right, here we go. so we came off we're filling up but here's my tire pressure uh hot pressure and temps coming off the track as you can see left side's a little bit hotter than the right uh that's because we have a lot of right hand turns here but beautiful day about 68 degrees not a cloud in the sky so there you have it tire temp tire pressure 
filling up on gas and we're going out for the next session. Catch you guys then. All right, that was our second session of the afternoon. Let's check the wear out on the tires. You can see, definitely get some heat in them. Wearing uh, nice and evenly. Again, couldn't be happier with the 23 BMW M3 Competition X Drive. Car is performing amazingly. Let's check that back tire out. Yeah. So we're definitely getting the heat in it. Nice even wear. So we'll keep an eye on that. All right, guys, going back out for the third session. There's tire temp and pressure, and uh, we're in track mode. So let's see what happens.
right, we're fresh off the track. So you see our tire pressure jumped up to 35 pounds. Uh, a little bit more temperature in the left side tires than the right, but that's because we're making a lot of right-hand turns. Again, uh, fuel lever's about fuel full, so let's jump out and check, see what our tires are looking like. Again, it's important to make sure you're getting, you know, even wear and the tire pressure is set correctly, so let's get out and see what that looks like. All right. Okay, here we go, fresh off the track. Definitely getting some heat in the tires. Seems to still be wearing evenly. Let's check the back out. And there you have the tires. It's a beautiful day for this man, I love it. Not too hot, not too cold. Just perfect if you ask me. Here comes somebody coming in hot from turn one. We'll let them go by. That, uh, that E92 has a hair blower on it. Things really clean.
of look at the, the tire temp and pressure coming off the track. So we went from about 30 pounds of pressure to 35. It's right in the range that I like to be in. Again, pulling off track. Another great session in the books. Man, today's track day is amazing. It does not disappoint. Look at them skies, perfect weather. We're out here at Thunderbolt, New Jersey Motorsports Park. Hats off to Sam Yao and the guys at Track Experience you put on an amazing event, couldn't have went off better. Them three behind me last week went 1090 at 125 at the drag strip. And this week we're at the road course putting down quick laps, man. Uh, I couldn't ask for more from the car. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, you guys take it easy.